Right. Maths question. This question... This is a real quick one. This radio host got posed a question by, I guess, a listener that called up. I'm not sure. Is that I've got a question for you. This is the question. See if you get the answer. If you buy a baseball bat and a baseball and your total is $1.10 and the bat cost $1 more than the ball, how much is the ball? Say again. I got distracted. Say it again. If you buy a baseball bat and a baseball and your total is $1.10 and the bat cost $1 more than the ball, how much is the ball? See, this is where I'm a weird, weird human being, but Emma won't remember this, but we got asked this riddle when we were kids. What? Yeah, I, I remember. remember. Yeah, our granddad, granddad Stevens. I <laughs> do not answer? remember this. What was the, what's the answer? I know, I know the answer, Everyone but I'm not going to tell. I'll, like, let, let you get a chance to see if you figure it out. But this is a, this yeah. a pretty common one, this one. So ask the question again. Oh yeah, yeah. If you buy a baseball bat and a baseball, and your total is one dollar ten, yeah, and the bat costs Five one, cents. the bat costs one dollar more than the ball. How much is the ball? Five cents. Bang on. I don't get it. I I said then, that I said the ball was ten cents. You can't. But but how can it be ten, 10 cents? cents? Then it'll be ninety cents more than the ball. Yeah. What? What? Well, no. It's it's got a cost. A, the bat's got to cost a, do, a dollar more than the ball. Than the ball, yeah. right? So if the ball costs five if, if, cents, the bat costs a dollar and dollar five and cents. Five. And their total yeah. is a dollar ten. Yeah, dollar ten. Five cents. What? Because if it's ten cents, if it's ten cents, right? Yeah. How do I say this? This so is this is. Uh, do you want me to explain this in a very mathematical way and why maths is important to figuring things out? Do you want out? to explain it in an easy way for people? This to is understand? this is really easy from even from mathematical. This is algebra. So we know that the bat costs a dollar more, and we know the total is one ten. So the algebraic equation to figure this out is two x plus one equals 1.1 or 2x plus 100 equals 110 the 1.1 mm. 1 or the 110 being the total price <laughs> you got you got it <laughs> right can we do over. this in layman's terms <laughs> you confuse so it with you the take, 110 you take the total price <laughs> take away the difference and you know that between the two items you know the difference between the two items is a dollar that leaves mm. you with 10 cents yeah, so one's a dollar, one's ten cents. No, it's no, two, no, no, no. two x equals ten cents, right? Because the the, the two yeah the, the two items are a dollar apart in price. What? See, I don't, I don't get it. See how like you, you know I mean, it's a dollar five. The answer? You know how the five cents, right? Five mm -hmm. cents. It has to be a dollar more, right? Think about it. It's five cents, and the bat was a dollar and five. So no, but a, why? Because it's a dollar more. Because the bat costs a dollar more than the ball. Yeah. So if the if it's like, do you know what I mean? The bat doesn't cost a dollar. It costs a dollar more. Yeah. Like, do you understand the answer part? Like I the one and five. I kind of get it now that you're saying that. Because if the if the ball was ten cents, yeah. then it'd have to be a dollar twenty. Is that right? It'd have to be dollar twenty, right? Yeah, yeah dollar yeah. twenty. I think I get it now, but this more. is, I'm just going to tell you. So according to behavioral economist, Daniel Kahneman. He's got a few books. Um, and this, by the way, is a very common mistake. But most people get this question wrong because we rely on intuition to problem solve. And intu intuitively, it seems like the answer should be 10 cents. Apparently, more than 50% of students from the top US universities, MIT, Princeton, Harvard, get this answer wrong. And... The wider population, 80% of the population, the general population, get it wrong. Because you know when you ask the question and I asked you to say it so, so, three more so, times, so, so, I was like, it can't what you, be that what, simple. What are you saying is, <laughs> it can't I'm be that part simple. of the 20% that got it right. You are 
part of the 20%. A dev was listening to see what you guys no, would say. No, because like when you ask, because yeah. like when you said the dollar ten, right? And I'm like, nah, it's wrong. Like my instant answer is wrong. You know it was wrong because I was asking. Yeah. No, yeah. And yeah. I was like, because like, I was like, dollar ten. I was like, no, nah, you can't just come to that conclusion. Those, so I asked again. This is one of those things where this is my strongest argument for why people misunderstand the importance of maths in terms of not to answer questions like this. But just and specifically algebra, because algebra just teaches you how to problem solve, which is relevant to everything in life. Mm. And yeah. I think that's like the way the reason why if you're good at maths you would look at that question differently is because when you problem solve you don't rely on intuition as much. Like you try and objectively say, wait, what are all the pieces of information I actually have? Yeah. Now let's get to an answer. And you're yeah. right, Emma. I didn't Alexander. know the answer. No, I, I, Let's just I, know I knew you were new. You knew it's we're, can't we're be what We're a little bit smarter than the common person. Otherwise, won't be asking. Yeah, <laughs> and like, because uh, when you uh, when you first asked, I was like, I wasn't paying attention. And then yeah, I said it the second time, I was like, that's the wrong answer. That's not what I'm supposed to be saying. A hundred. But what is the right one? Yeah. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And then CJ said five, and I went, Oh, he's got it right. So yeah, and then it makes five, sense like, to you. Yeah. Oh, See, if, I, hate I, when I CJ was just gets like, it before me. Oh. I was like, ten cents. It's ten cents. And then when it was five, I was like, No, wait, what? <laughs> no. See, my brain was going ten cents. It's 90, 90 cents more. So that's be, you know. Yeah. So then I, I had to keep <laughs> See, going down and down and CJ, down. CJ knows the answer, right? But he can't... Like, Alexander gave Explain the, the mathematic explanation, but CJ is just like, I feel it. It's five cents. <laughs> <laughs> my brain said, my brain said, it's five cents. <laughs> and then if someone asks, because I do the same thing, right? That's why I can answer. Yeah. If someone asks, how did you figure out? I go, it just is. Oh. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> My, but I my felt brain less bad. went through pro- process. Yeah. And went, and went ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I felt less bad knowing that I'm with the other 80% of the population. You know, you know, um, you know uh, what happened in CJ's head? Mm-hmm. You know, when, um, have you seen that uh, movie where they're like uh, calculations? Algebra. And like there's all these algebra equations that oh, go yeah, through yeah. someone's head. And then it goes, five cents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what happened in CJ's head. Rain man over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And also, I felt good knowing that the top you at like Princeton and all that they get even only half of them get it wrong. 